Well, in their mission statement, the Guahan Academy Charter School vows to empower their students with proven educational practices and social support to be productive citizens in the community. But unless GAX comes up with a way to pay for its rent over the next couple of days, its middle and high school parents will be scrambling to re-enroll their students elsewhere. PNC's Melissa Leon Guerrero has more. Nearly 300 students will be affected by this eviction, and this was the main topic of discussion at an emergency working session this afternoon called by GAX Council Chairwoman Amanda Blas over the weekend. The eviction notice was sent from attorney Daniel Berman's office. They represent Nan Chul Shin Trust, the owners of the property being leased by Guahan Academy. If it happens, the eviction will occur on Wednesday. Guahan Academy is behind in payments by nearly a quarter million dollars. The notice was sent to GAX chairperson Faye Valencia Ovales on February 7th, which PNC reporter Jolene Tovez, speaking in her capacity as the GAX PTO president, says was a day before a PTO meeting. She spoke with K57's Patty Arroyo this morning and stated there was no indication given at that meeting that an eviction was even a possibility. At that PTO meeting, a concerned parent did ask, you know, what's the fate of the charter school? Um, but it was not addressed as far as and we were not told that you know that GAX is facing eviction. Um, we were basically told that um, you know the school was doing what they could with the funding that they had. In fact, in audio from that meeting, Dean of GAX Middle and High Schools Mary Moffness addressed next year's budget, giving no hints that the two upper schools may be shut down. And next year, next school year, my understanding, if I'm correct, may I please correct me if I'm wrong, Ms. Cruz, they, the council said, okay, we'll recommend to the legislature that you can have 873 students and it will be 6,500 unless they, they cut it. But 873 students at 6,500 for next school year. That's what we hear right now. So the news took Tovez, other parents, and students by surprise when it was posted on social media over the weekend. Tovez sprung into action, urging Blas to hold the emergency working session. She says in addition to the eviction notice, they also need to address the collateral damage. It's Monday and, you know, school's supposed to shut down on Wednesday. Yeah. You know, what, what, are our what are our kids, what are we supposed to tell our kids? You know, sorry, you know, you're not going to get enough credit to graduate because... Uh, you don't, you know, the school shut down, or I'm sorry, we have to uh, disenroll you from GAX and put you somewhere else. Meantime, the Guam Department of Education has released a statement saying that in the event the eviction does take place, the department will work with students and families to ensure a smooth transition should they decide to re-enroll at GDOE. Reporting for PNC News, I'm Melissa Leon Guerrero. And at the meeting, Charter Council Chairwoman Amanda Blas informed Board Chairwoman Faye Obalas that they expect to receive the Shin Trust contract, the latest Bank of Guam loan commitment, and the most recent USDA loan commitment by tomorrow with an official letter. The meeting continues this hour. We'll have more on what was discussed at that working session for you tomorrow.